Guess who's recording a video the day before it goes up? What's going on you misfits? I am Ren. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do a quick little video uh, about OpenSea Face GD. A new version just released, 0.7.3, and we're going to take a look into it. But before we get into that, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe to get notified when you get new videos, and hit the bell to get alerts for all those notifications. And uh, hey, if you like this sort of stuff and you want to support me, you can check out my Patreon where I post videos early, except for the past two weeks, Thanksgiving kind of screwed with that. You can also check me out over on twitch.tv slash itsrogren to see me stream live and see what it's like streaming on Linux as a VTuber. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. So here we are. We are over on the desktop. This is OpenCFace GD 0.7.3. I was actually going to make a video on 0.7.2, but 0.7.3 came out before I got around to recording this, so we're doing it on this version. Now, the biggest thing that was added in like 0.7.2 and was tweaked in 0.7.3 is these settings right here. If you go under tracking, you can see these little settings such as the blink threshold, the gaze strength, should track eyes, use raw eye rotation. I don't do the eye tracking because when I turn it on, you can see my uh, pupils kind of twitch around and I'm not crazy about that. So I just turn it off. It may be different depending on your face or your eyes or how it tracks it. Um, I've just never been a huge fan of like iris tracking and stuff on my models. Even when I use VC face, I turn it off just because I'm just not a fan of it. We've got translation. So you can do stuff like that. Oh, I don't I I might have screwed that up. Let's fix this. There we go. I'm going to set that as my default model because I can't believe I hadn't done that. Yeah, translation's weird. Not entirely sure what that's for. Apply rotation, stuff like that. You can turn on and off. You can turn off the interpolation so you can make it go back to being like kind of choppy-ish. You change the rate at which it does it and stuff like that. Gaze strength and blink threshold. This will make it like how quickly it'll blink your eyes. This is linked to an interpolation of the eyes and stuff right now. So um, if you turn it down, your eyes will be a lot more not this smooth movement. Uh, possibly there's going to be a way to separate those to where it'll be the threshold will be uh, editable without editing uh, how smooth it is. But at the current moment, the interpolation, this which is the smoothness of the animation, locks to your mouth movement as well. So uh, yeah, more settings are coming. But man, is this so cool. I've actually started streaming with this as it is right now. I like it. I do like it. Uh, there are little bits and pieces here that I'm waiting on improvements but it's coming along pretty well. There's the same tracking, the new UI. Um, there's also a lot of the new features are in like the tracking section, but uh, there's this little thing right here. This little start and stop the tracker thing. This now works in Linux. So when you download the new version of it, you'll have a folder. Let me pull it up actually. Here it is. So you'll have this folder, you'll see an open C face folder, which has got all the stuff for open C face in it. There's also a resources folder and scripts, which has a script for running open C face on Linux. And so if we actually, if we look at that, let's open with K because that's just my text editor. You can see what it does right here. So it literally goes through finds directories of where everything is installed and then installs all the prerequisites. My cat is kicking a quarter around. I don't know how she keeps finding all these things to play with. And I'm just like, I don't even know where you got this from. As I was saying, it goes through and it installs all the prerequisites. That's what this is. And then right here, it runs the command to run VC face after figuring out where everything is from all of these, which is really cool. That's really clever. Um, at first, I thought it was broken because it uh, didn't do anything when I first clicked it. Turns out you need to wait a minute. I've since added, I've said suggested to you in that um, when you start it, there's a little like tracker is starting pop up that happens until it actually starts so that you don't think just, that just nothing is happening. Uh, translations, we got only English right now, but uh, should make it to where you can easily translate into other languages. It's just 
cool. And then you get the standard and you get the package. I've actually added it to my start menu. So if I open, I've added it to my start menu so I can load it up really quick. But we don't need that now. We're going to talk more about the features. We do have the lights and the prop buttons. I have not actually tested how well they work yet. So let's see. Main light. Let's make it green. Oh, cool. It does actually make me green. Oh, this is. OK, so this actually works. Oh, my God, this works. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I have no idea how I would implement this, but being able to like make myself RGB would be so cool. Okay, let's set it back to white environment light. Not entirely sure what that one does. Zelda, what? My cat is super riled up right now, probably because it's the morning and I'm recording this way later than I should be. I should have recorded this like four days ago. Presets are as they were before and they work. I've got two invalid ones that I probably should delete. Uh, I don't, uh, that one didn't delete. Oh, well, I guess I need it. And then the app settings, nothing has really changed here. You do have a little console so you can see uh, stuff that's happened. So after you use something, you can jump over here and you can see this will help with troubleshooting if you want to submit to GitHub or uh, in UN's Discord, if you want to make suggestions or figure out issues, this will help you with that. This console thing will actually help you figure out what was happening last, where the error happened, the error report user dot JSON doesn't exist. OK, um, that must be why I'm unable to delete that preset, because it doesn't exist. It's just showing in blank. Weird. So we got the same sort of settings. So we've got the use FXAA and use transparent background. If I turn that on and I turn this off, you have transparent background, which is really cool and really nice. Um, unfortunately, I like to have both of these on, so uh, I can't do that. So I just Chroma key myself. And as before, you press the tab to hide the UI. And there you are. The model settings have not really changed much at all. Uh, there was actually, as I'm recording this, a new merge was added to the master branch. It's not an official release yet, but it is going to be changing to um, all these really long joint names are going to auto wrap after like here. So you'll just see it and it'll start scrolling through the name and then jump back and scrolling through the name and jump back and scrolling through the name and jump back so that you won't have to scroll over to get to the track and pose buttons, which is not a big issue. It's just something I mentioned. It's like, oh, hey, you might want to do this because then you don't have to scroll. It's because it's mildly annoying to try to keep track of where you are when you're scrolling like this, because the, especially the hair joints are so long. But also it does this. I think it bases the distance away off of the furthest name. So all these hair joints screw up the positioning for everything else, because if I load the duck model or if I had the duck model loaded, it would all be lined up perfectly well. That was a weird way to phrase that, but hey, that's what we're doing here. Now, as far as I know, the props haven't been edited, so they might still be broken, but let's go to my screenshots and see what now, or to my pictures folder. Um, and let's add my straw hat. Oh my God. So I can add and then I can turn it off. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so you can add images. They go behind you, unfortunately. You can't put them on top, at least not yet. And there is no sort of tracking or anything, which apparently is a pain to do. VC Face recently added that, and uh, I want to do a video on that, but uh, it broke for me because wine's a pain. Now, you may have seen in my previous video that, uh, yeah, VC Face just decided to stop working again. The last time it did this, the only way I could fix it was to do a fresh reinstall of my OS which I really don't want to do again. So don't know what I'm going to do. Now, if you haven't been able to tell the tracking on the mouth is not great yet, it's passable. It works well enough for what it is, but it doesn't really track all that well. I think part of the issue is the fact that there aren't any blend shapes or not blend shapes. There's uh, mouth shapes or whatever it is like Unity has. I don't think Godot has a good alternative for that yet. If it does, that will probably be added at some point. I don't know. Again, I'm not the developer. I'm just the guy that checks out every new version when it releases and tries it on Linux. 
And I think that's honestly all there is. The, the biggest difference was the tracker being built in and these little interpolation settings. Those were the big new changes that they make things a lot better and they work a lot cooler. And I'm excited for the next release because the next release is going to have a lot more fixes and it'll have those things I mentioned earlier that have been added to master. And I'm just super excited for where this is going. It's getting so close to a 1.0 release. There's at this point, it's just little things now. All the major groundwork and frameworks are done and they work great and the UI is great. I mean, the little wrapping thing is probably like the, the last little UI edit that needs to be made. And then the UI is just may never need to have to be touched again. It can just be continually reused on future versions. I mean, unless you add more features, in which case then you'll need new UI for the new features, but yeah, you see what I mean? It didn't track my mouth the entire time for that. <laughs> but that's going to be it for this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, again, hit the like button, get subscribed, hit the notification bell, check me out over on Twitch. And uh, hopefully you guys will be excited for next time. I've got a list of videos that I'm working on. Um, I've got one for OBS Studio. I've got one for I tried Brave Search for a month. I actually tried it for two months. And I'm collecting my thoughts on that. I'm going to make that like try to make that a bit of a better, bigger video that's better edited, um, hopefully. And uh, I also have an idea of doing a stream of teaching other VTubers how to use Linux and how to be a VTuber on Linux and see what they think about it. And if it's entertaining, I'll edit that into a video. So yeah, I got some cool ideas. Hopefully we can, uh, we can make those things happen. But I'm gonna go for now. Thank you all again for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.